On September the 3rd, 1939, following Hitler's invasion of Poland, Britain and France declared war on Nazi Germany. The Allies were soon joined by the major nations of the British Empire, Australia, Canada, India, New Zealand and South Africa. It was the start of one of the largest conflicts in human history, escalating into a global military struggle which lasted six years. It's estimated there were over 50 million casualties, both military and civilian, across five continents. It was also a new kind of warfare, modern and mechanised, which was fought as decisively in the air as on land or at sea. The air forces were to play a crucial role in the war all over the world, but nowhere more so than here at home and in Europe. 1940 was a time of crisis for Britain. In little more than six weeks, the Germans had stormed across northern Europe. Britain now stood isolated and vulnerable on the edge of the occupied continent. In the Battle of Britain, fought in the skies over southeast England, a handful of hugely outnumbered fighter pilots managed to turn back the Luftwaffe, the German Air Force. As the Prime Minister, Winston Churchill, acknowledged, never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. Foiled in their attempts at invasion, the Germans then tried to break civilian morale by months of devastating bombing raids on Britain. During the Blitz, thousands were killed, injured or left homeless, and many cities were reduced to rubble. With limited means of hitting back, it was up to RAF Bomber Command to take the war to the enemy. Day and night, strategic bombing campaigns struck right at the heart of Germany. This was a job which required extraordinary courage and determination. The average age of Bomber Command aircrew was only 22. Out of a force of 125,000 men, over 55,000 lost their lives. The Air Forces also fulfilled many other less familiar but vital roles. Coastal Command defended Britain continuously from attacks by sea, especially the deadly German U-boats, which threatened this country's supply lines. Ferry Command was responsible for transporting aircraft from Canada and America across the Atlantic Ocean. The Air Transport Auxiliary ferried aircraft from British factories to RAF bases throughout the country. And the SOE, or Special Operations Executive, carried out crucial undercover work as agents in enemy-occupied countries such as France. The war in Europe came to an end officially on May the 8th, 1945, after Hitler's suicide and Germany's surrender to the Allies.